Welcome back to my channel. It's Des and I'm here with a Halloween tutorial. I decided to do a skull, bloody type of look. I haven't done a video in so long and the Halloween spirit has brought me back to life. So if you guys want to recreate the look or just see how I did it, please stay tuned. We're gonna get started. I just want to let you guys know that I have an idea in my head and I hope that it comes out the way that I picture it. So let's hope for the best and get started. Let's get started. And let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna just list all the products on the bottom of the screen so that I don't have to tell you what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So I'm trying to do this in a timely fashion. Oh no, I didn't even put primer. Jesus. It's a great start. So I'm going to use like a green kind of primer because I feel like my face is not really that red, but either way. Now we'll apply some foundation. I like to go all the way in my hair so it looks like it, it blends, you know? Anastasia Pomade. So there's my brows. Now we're gonna do concealer. For some reason I always conceal around my brow and then I go back in. Make it extra crisp. One brow down. Next. I'm gonna finish my face because I always start with my face anyway, so there's no point of doing my eyes right now. I'm trying to do it different than I normally do it. Um, we're gonna conceal under eye. So concealer um. is applicated. Darker foundation for this. This one has a cool effect. And then on the top of the forehead. a smaller brush to accomplish this. Okay, so that is my bronzing. Now I'm going to powder, finish everything off so that it stays in place. talking a whole lot right now because this is just basics. The point is to show you the Halloween look. Well, this little pimple is like not trying to hide today, so I'm just going to let it be. Okay, so we're going to get started on the eyes right away. I'm going to use this concealer because it's thicker and I really want my makeup to stay in place. So I'm going to warm it up first and apply it all over my lid. And I'm going in with my Dare to Create Morphe palette. These two colors 
to do my transition. I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. I don't have to like hold my hand in the more precise because I'm shaking so much right now. Don't mind me. Okay, so that's my transition color. Now I'm, next I'm going to go with BH Cosmetics palette. It's a blush set and I'm going to go in with this color. And I'm going to use a smaller... Um, what is this called again? Brush? Anyways, I'm going to go with the smaller brush like this. <laughs> There's a name for it. I can't remember right now. I just used it earlier so you guys know what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to go again in the crease. But this time I'm going to go smaller crease and leave that transition color popping through. Ooh, and it's kind of shimmery. I like it. Nice. Okay, next eyeball. I've been wanting to do videos again for the longest time. But it never worked out. And now that Halloween is happening, it's October, I got inspired, so I'm making you guys this video. Alright, now that the crease is done, we're going to go with concealer to make that crease line. Because we're going to do like a cut crease look. And put some gold shimmers. Just taking this color here. So I'm going to take this gold from the Creation palette by Morphe. I'm just going to go in with my finger. I know they're really dirty right now, but I'm going to help for the best. And now with this gold color, I feel like I should darken up the crease a little bit. So I'm going to go in with some black here. It's kind of a purpley tinge. It's going to make the red pop out more. So I'm just going to go in there. I want more pop in the middle though. So I think I'm going to go in with lipstick. Look at this color. Okay, so it looks like this. It's like the dye. It's liquid gold. Liquid gold. I'm gonna do a dot and bring it up. Ooh. Okay, it's important to do this. Like, bring the thing down. Look down so that you're not opening your lid while you're doing it. Let's try to get the other one to match. So under eye, I'm going to keep it red, but even redder. Like wine color. I have an even smaller little guy, so I'm going to use this one. And I want it to be like kind of a smoky eye, so I'm going to smudge it out. And bring it outwards. So it forms that triangle at the corner here. And at the same time, when you do this, it covers up all your wrinkles. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to go back with the purpley color. Like right in the... super tight there, because I like the purple effect that's going on. Okay, now we're going to do the line going down. <coughs> I can't breathe. Just a line going straight down. And hope for the best goes. <laughs> it's hard because your skin is very like movable, if that's a word. The look is starting to come together. 
So I'm going to line my lips with the same color that I did under my eyes to begin with. And yes, I'm overlining them a little bit because it's Halloween. We want to be dramatic, right? I always, every time I say purple, when I'm talking about makeup, it'll always come out as, oh, oh. The struggle is real. I always say purpley. Like, it's a purpley look. Like, purple doesn't exist. No, it's purpley. I don't know. I'm using my lippy sticks by Pop Cosmetics. guys so I did this I put some gold and some black and stuff but it kind of took away from that color that I put so what I'm gonna do because you can never fail with makeup you can always reapply or apply more or restart I'm not gonna restart I'm gonna put this red really red color on top of everything and then retrace the um, the black on my lips Okay, now guys that the lips are done, the eyes are done, I'm going to go off camera and apply false lashes, and I will be back. I'm like debating if I should put like some gold. No. Right here. No. no I won't do it. My I won't BH, do it. My BH Desert Oasis palette. Gold. Dust. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's right. Now I have these tattoos. Got it from Dollaramas. 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 Got it from Dollarama, and I'm gonna put it on my neck here. I'm gonna apply this before doing the blood, because you know. And I believe we all know how to put tattoos like this. You just put the water in the gloss and stuff. So I'm gonna just do that off camera real quick too. See you in a bit. My tattoos are applied. Get a little barbed wire down here, a little spider here, and a little cross here. And now we're gonna go play with some blood. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. I have a black shirt on, so. Okay, so I've decided to add one more touch and it's going to be my fingers. I'm going to take black and put it all over my fingertips. Ooh, yes. Like that. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So thanks for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video.